What's going on, Nerd Army? What's happening, guys? So yeah, I'm, I'm on the freeway, just cruising, Cali. California freeways, traffic, shit's everywhere. People are crazy. But um, no, today I want to talk about a pretty cool thing. I mean, I, I really wanted to talk about the Joker. Um, since reading DC Rebirth number one, and it being revealed that there's actually three Jokers, and all the crazy shit that happened in that book. Um, so basically what had happened is, if you guys remember back a while, a while ago, Batman took over the Mobius chair. So Mobius chair, if you guys don't know, is a godlike item that granted Batman knowledge of everything in the universe. So fucking everything. Like if he wanted to know something, he just asked the chair and the chair told him exactly what it was or he could instantly know it if he wanted to. When he had the Mobius chair, he asked it, what is the true identity of the Joker? And the Mobius chair says there are three Jokers. So it was revealed that there are three freaking Jokers, okay? Um, and so in Rebirth, number one, Batman is actually sitting there at the back of Peter looking at the three Jokers like, holy crap, there are three different fucking people. And he's like, I know I fought all these motherfuckers individually, but there are three different people. Which makes a lot of sense. I mean, the Joker's a, one of the biggest villains of all time. Marvel, DC, anything. He's probably one of the best known villains ever, too. Um, but he has always been an amazing villain. Um, just sadistic, deep, crazy as hell. Um, does some really fucked up things in a lot of comic books. But... Um, in hearing this, this was a, a really cool revelation. Now, also, you guys know, I'm a huge YouTube fan, so I love watching YouTube videos, and I have a bunch of different amazing uh, people that I follow and I subscribe to, and then I watch all their videos. So if I'm a subscriber of yours, most likely if your video comes up on my stream, I'm going to watch it. I usually watch tons of YouTube videos. My wife gets pissed off at me because I watch so many fucking YouTube videos. Um, but one guy in particular that just did a video on this I was planning on doing a video so I was like I'm gonna mention him in it because it's a really cool theory um, and that is comic Drake now if you guys have never checked out comic Drake's channel definitely um, I will leave a link in the description down below go over to his channel check him out tell him nerds and rise give him a shout out he's a cool guy I mean comic Drake's a really really cool cool youtuber um, puts out some amazing content, especially superhero related. If you're a comic fan, he's the one to know because he is like the shit. Um, but he did mention, okay, in Rebirth number one, Batman's sitting there in his chair looking at the pictures of the Joker, then looks over to the card that he has hanging on the wall in the Batcave, and just starts staring at it and like notices something out of the corner of his eye so Batman being the detective goes and uncovers what it is and he chips away at the wall of the Batcave and he pulls out the comedian's pen now comic Drake's theory is that the comedian is one of the jokers now that's not a bad idea people are like oh no well yeah I mean automatically everyone's gonna think well the comedian died in Watchmen. Guys, this is comic books. Nobody stays dead. And to be honest with you, the Joker will never stay dead. He's too goddamn epic and too epic in Batman, in Batman's world. I mean, he is such a major part in who Batman is today, just based on the encounters he's had with the Joker. So, needless to say, yeah, guys, people come back from the dead. I mean, aside from a fucking Uncle Ben, just about everyone else comes back from the dead. So, I mean, there's even a Batman storyline where fucking Joker dies, comes back to life just to die again. But, yeah, I mean, it's crazy, guys. I mean, the comedian could be the Joker, which would be a cool thing. Um, if you really get into it, 
the comedian already has that. He thinks everything's so fucking ridiculous. It's funny. He's almost got the mentality, and he fucking hates everyone. And for his own, like, fucked up reasons, he's a douche to people. So, I mean, the comedian's a very deep character, a really, really cool character. I'm I'm really excited. I would love it if it was revealed that the comedian is one of the Jokers. That shit would be awesome because he's such a cool character, and I'm I would love it, dude. It would be such a good fucking fit. But guys, like I said, I think that is a awesome, 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 awesome theory. I really think it's possible too, because we have three completely different Jokers. Why couldn't one of them be fucking the comedian? I mean. Now that we know the Watchmen are in the mainstream DC universe, it's all possible, guys. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the three Jokers that was revealed in DC Rebirth. And let me know what you guys think about the comedian maybe being one of the Jokers. I think it's possible. I think it'll be cool as hell if it is. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys hit that big thumbs up button if you like this video. And make sure you Hulk smash that subscribe button to keep up with me and all the other nerdy videos I put out every day, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Andrew, and you have been watching Nerdsmerized. Peace out. If you liked the video you just saw, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the other nerdy videos we have just like this one. Also check out my Patreon account and become a patron if you like for access to exclusive content.